When it comes to adding links to your description or to your pinned comment, one of the biggest mistakes I see people seeing is that they put a link there and when you click on it, especially when you're on your phone, it will take you outside of that YouTube app. It will take you to a different web browser. Now, people don't like to watch YouTube videos in the Safari app. They like to watch it inside that YouTube app. So you really want to keep people inside that YouTube app as much as you can. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add links that will keep people inside that YouTube app. And another huge mistake I see people make is when they put websites inside of their description, they're not clickable. This is huge. If people are watching your video and you want to send them to a website or some sort of funnel, you really want to make sure that that link is working. So in this video, I'm going to cover all those things coming up. You got to just press record. Hey guys, my name is Nolan Molt with Think Media. Let's jump right into this video. So the first thing I want to touch on is that major mistake where when someone clicks on a YouTube video link in your description, it takes them outside of the app. Why is that you ask? Well, it's because the link is altered. You have to make sure that when you are sharing a video link in your description or your pinned comment, it cannot be unaltered, but you're going to want to keep watching because I'm going to show you how to get the shortest link possible to put into your descriptions. So here I'm inside the YouTube studio and I want to add a video link. Let's just say I'm going to add in a video right here. I want to say, watch this and then I'm going to put a link here. What people do sometimes is they will take this link and they will either shorten it using a bit.ly link or a genius link and they will put that into the description. Now that will take them outside of the app because now you've altered that web address. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and I can copy this link right up here and without doing anything to it, I can go ahead and paste that. And that is going to work. People can click on that. It's going to keep them inside of the app. So here's a trick to shorten your link as much as possible. And a lot of people don't know this. So if we scroll down here, we can see there is a share button. When you click this share button, you can see something that YouTube does here. It goes u2.be. So it actually has shortened the link as much as possible. We're going to go ahead and we can actually just hit copy right there. And I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to paste that. You can see how much shorter that is. It's much cleaner. And so that is what we do at Think Media. If you are going to shorten a link, that is the only way to do it. It's the best way to do it. And it's going to keep them inside that YouTube app. Now, remember, you don't want to mess with those links. You don't want to go in here and take away any of that HTTPS stuff. You don't want to put www. You, you know, you don't want to mess with it because that will actually alter the link and it won't work. So we're going to double check this by hitting save and I'm going to go to the video description and see which of these are clickable. All right. So down here in the description, we can see that our top link was unaltered and that is completely fine. It's completely clickable because it's blue. This one, you can't even click on it. And so what that means is it's useless. You want to make sure that you are not deleting that HTTPS and adding www. So that is something really to take note of. Leave it unaltered and you will be fine. Now I have another major mistake that people make with links and I'm going to show you right here. Let's say I wanted to take this description and use it as a template and maybe to save time, I just wanted to copy and paste this description to another video. You want to be careful with how you do this because you will ruin some of the links. For example, down here, we can see it says, watch this. And we have this clickable link. This is going to keep them in the app on mobile. Now you'll see here though, that with this long link, YouTube has actually shortened and compressed that link by adding a dot, dot, dot. And so if I click on this video, it is still clickable because YouTube was the one that actually shortened that link, not me. Uh, if I go into the edit video up here, you'll see that the link still is the same. It's still you can see right here, it's still long, but YouTube was the one that shortened it. So if I click on it, this link is going to work. It is going to take me to this video that I wanted to send people to. So you can see right here, it is working. It sends them to the video. Here's where it gets really tricky. A lot of people think that you can just go ahead and copy the link that is in the description on YouTube and paste that to another video. Now, if YouTube has shortened it and has added that dot, 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 you need to be careful. The dot, dot, dot should tell you to stop and it should tell you to be scared. No, it shouldn't tell you to be scared. It should tell you to go into the YouTube description and use that link inside the YouTube description. Do not use the link with the dot, dot, dot or your link will be dead. And I will prove it to you right now by going ahead and copying this 
clickable link that should work perfectly fine. You think it would I'm going to copy that. I'm then going to take it to a different video and I'm going to paste it right there and it's unaltered and I haven't touched anything. I've just copied it from the description and I'm going to hit save. So now if I go check the description, we have the link right here. It looks blue. It looks great. You think I could click on it and it would work fine, but watch what happens when I click on this link video unavailable. So this is a huge mistake that people make is that they are copying the links from other YouTube descriptions and they are applying that to their other videos. You do not want to do this. If you do want to copy from your description, what you want to do is go back into YouTube studio and then copy those full links. Okay. So if you see dot, 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 remember, don't be scared, but go into the YouTube studio and get that full link. Now, before I get into the websites and how to make sure that those links are completely compatible, make sure you leave a like if you've learned something new here and comment down below. Let us know what kind of YouTube channel do you have? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, so we're gonna go back into YouTube Studio. I've hit edit video, and this is where you would want to copy that link if you wanna do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that our links are clickable. So we have a link here for growwithvideolive.com, and I'm gonna show you the major mistakes that people make. A lot of people, what they do when they go into the description is they will just type in growwithvideolive.com just like that. Now it is the same web address. If you were to take that and type that into Google, yeah, it would work. But on YouTube, it's a little bit different. So you do not want to type in just growvideolive.com and expect it to be clickable. It's not going to be clickable. The next mistake that people do is they will do www.growwithvideolive.com. This is also not clickable inside the YouTube descriptions. And so I see a lot of people who will do that. What you want to do is have that true address with the HTTPS, you know, the colon, the forward slashes. You need all of that in order for it to be clickable inside of the YouTube app inside of your descriptions. So you can see up here, we have all that and we have our website and that is going to be clickable. You want that full web address in your description for it to be clickable. So inside this description, you can see these aren't clickable links. It's a bummer. A lot of people do this, go in and fix them if you have been doing this. Uh, but this right here, growthvideolive.com is clickable and it will take I got scared there for a second because I thought either this whole video I'm doing is wrong or our growth video live website is down, not good options. But no, my internet just sucks and it's up now. So when you click on your link, you're gonna see it will take you to the website. And right here, we have our growth video live website and it looks good and you can get there straight away and you can do it right from the YouTube description. Now, if you want to make those links shorter, what you can do is you can use something like Bitly and actually shorten that link. And because it has that HTTPS, that is going to work and it's going to be a clickable link for you. So you definitely can uh, shorten links and use that if you're sending someone to a website because that's going to take them off the app anyways. Uh, but you know, you definitely don't want to do that if you're sending someone to another video because it will take them outside of the app. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now you know everything you need to know about links inside of YouTube. If you want to learn more about YouTube and the basics of YouTube, then click on the screen right now to watch that playlist and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.